I've just taken 47 students to Malibu Lagoon. Um, we cleaned up the beach and students got to categorize uh, what types of trash they could find on the beach. They were able to see food webs of, they saw sea urchins and then they saw kelp and uh, they also saw um, uh, Rhytophyta and attached to tube worms. Uh, this event is very important because we're, we, we are going to theme the beach for the whole year and ocean ecology and watersheds. I think that this, this is not only an area of recreation but it, it's kind of our lab since I teach um, three marine science, marine biology classes and two environmental science classes. I think it could serve as a laboratory for us. Um, we'll examine seawater and, and we'll hope to make a, quite a few more trips here. Hey, how are you guys doing from Monroe High School? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're cleaning the bay. Yeah, the bay seems already clean. What have you guys found so far? A bottle. A lot, a lot of cigarette butts. Cigarette butts. Cigarette butts. And plastic. And a bottle. Damn, mostly, smoky. Mostly cigarettes though. Yeah. What do you got down on your list? Oh, a lot of stuff. A lot of cigarette butts, a lot of food wrappers, Road. plastic, bottle caps and containers, and gums, batteries. Oh yeah, we found gum. Cap lids. I found that I uh, had an amazing group of students that were really charged in this club. And um, they really pulled me in with their motivation. And uh, I guess it's the third year dealing with the Eco Club. And um, that also brought me to Miss Krieger, who an uh, amazing bank of knowledge. And my three-year-old with me, you know, this is a, his earth too, and I want to make sure that I'm being a model for him and that, um, you know, he sees that we're all stewards for the environment and that we need to take care of it because in reality it's taking care of us. So all we're really doing is just, you know, giving back. Will you do this? It's always good to get outside and have fun. You know, a day at the beach is great, but a day at the beach where you know you're, you're helping out the beach is even better. So um, I will come back annually and then some. Environment and the animals uh, are, are one, you know, biodiversity and uh, environment, you know, is their home as well. So if their home's not taken care of, if you had trash and broken glass and cans laying around your bed and in your bathroom, uh, that would impact your life as well. So. We're really taking care of their their uh, neighborhood. I try to tell them that um, you know we are you know as a responsible citizen that it's not about you know always getting yours that you need to give back and um, that as much as the beach cleanup is a, an annual event that really cleanup happens every day and that you really want to make a change just start it one day at a time. Um, you know, take care of yourself, start, be a role model, uh, educate yourself, and then you can educate others. And uh, yeah, every day should be a day to, to Earth Day. You know, every day is a good day to clean up. You know, Earth's a good place, and I think we got to remember to, that uh, it does need us, just like we need it. And um, the more we're out here, you know, getting to know it and educating ourselves, the better. So uh, yeah, keep doing it. animals that are helped be in a beach cleanup are all the animals because when you have an ecosystem that's out of balance when one animal population disappears or is reduced to a huge extent all the other animals organisms feel that impact and it throws the entire ecosystem off so when you help participate in a beach cleanup and you're removing tiny little bits of plastic you're keeping small fish from ingesting that you're keeping the bigger fish from ingesting those, or maybe the small fish, if they all ingested the plastics and died off, 
the big fish wouldn't have anything to eat, and therefore you're helping them as well, all the way up through dolphins and whales and humans as well. should be aware that simple daily actions can help. Bringing your reusable bags to the store, choosing to use a reusable coffee mug when you go to Starbucks, which by the way saves you money, they pay you for it, um, as well as um, reusable water bottles, which saves money and keeps you healthier than using single-use water bottles. Those are huge ways to impact the environment. On top of which, you can be a part of fixing things that have gone wrong by being a part of um, monthly cleanups. Our Nothing But Sand cleanups happen the third Saturday of every month. Um, they move up and down throughout Los Angeles County, and you can clean for just an hour or two and see the impact that your um, efforts have made.